Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher, and we're seeing this great polarity in this world. And one of the characteristics of that polarity is those who value freedom as their highest value, and then those who value comfort or certainty as their highest value. Or again, those who want to guide their own course and have say in the direction of their lives, and those who want to trust somebody else to do it and give complete trust there. And then you have some controllers or chess players up top, a very tiny percentage there. But you hear this phrase, dangerous freedom or peaceful slavery. And I want to dive into that today as those who have chosen freedom what you find out really soon, it's more than simply just wanting to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want. If you choose freedom, you find there's a price to pay with that. You're being held responsible for all of your actions, all of your choices, and you are always going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have times when you can rest and have some peace, but you're going to be uncomfortable intermittently throughout that time. and it's going to be all on you. And if you're choosing that path, you are choosing to be okay with this. And you're at the point where you're saying, you know, I'm okay being un uncomfortable because I'm in alignment with a higher value and I've chosen this. Now, those who have chosen comfort and th this other path, they are going to be uncomfortable as well. They're going to be held responsible for the karma of their choice. But much of the time, they're unconscious of why the uncomfort is showing up. It might show up as an issue in health, might show up as the loss of their a, a job or the loss of wealth, loss of a loved one, it could show up as any of those things. We're all going to have to deal with that in life. But this other path that may have trusted someone else and taken the word of, of someone else, they're going to feel that too, but may not put A and B together. You know, they just are going to feel the discomfort some complain some don't and sometimes I find people on this path of freedom they criticize these other people over here as not being aware of what they're choosing and I've, I've, I'm definitely one who does that and has done that but one thing I'm seeing now is that those who've chosen this path of comfort they're already in a state of slavery it's, it's a very comfortable form of slavery. And I say that because much of their life and the systems of their lives are, are controlled. Their, their thoughts are not their own. Their choices are all governed by something else external, and they're okay with it. And as this shifts... And again, as the agenda of the world is to basically shift what these systems look like, I think a lot of these people are, are going to be just fine with it because they value someone else telling them what to do. and They value social approval. They value these external things over an internal compass. They value these external things over finding their individual soul's purpose, which they have. They have an individual soul. They just may not be aware of it. But I believe they value these things more, and that is why they accept things that seem utterly insane and are okay with it. An example, people who work out with a mask in a gym, who are doing something that makes absolutely no sense, and they're told a narrative about it, but it, it really does not serve a, a higher or more functional 
purpose, I guess, unless you're wearing like an altitude mask and you're a fighter and you're, you're training to go those extra rounds when you're deprived of oxygen. But these other people who are out of shape and they're, you know, they're huffing and puffing with their mask on, breathing in CO2, makes absolutely no reason, but they're totally okay with it. And they will do that forever. They, they, they will do that forever because they value having someone tell them what to do, who they look up to, more than doing uncomfortable work of trying to understand if something is true, if it makes sense, and understand their own values. Again, if you're on that path of truth, it is uncomfortable. And looking at yourself and looking what you what you truly value is uncomfortable. It's like peeling away layers. And when you peel away skin, it doesn't feel good. And that's been happening to me all my life. And I accept that's going to continue to happen until I breathe my last breath in this body. And that day is going to come. There's going to be a come. There's going to be a day where... I breathe my last breath and my spirit goes on somewhere else. I'm not one of these people who is obsessed with living forever in this body, but I do care about the relationship with my body and having a quality life while I'm in it, having a quality experience. But at some point I accept that I will not be in this body in this physical plane. That's another thing. If you're on the path of truth, that's an acceptance that you have to face. And it's not about living forever and being protected forever. It's the quality of what you're doing while you're here and what you are doing. What are you devoting your time, your energy, and attention to while you are here? And one thing the people who value being controlled, who value that, and the controllers have, they both want to escape karma. So the people up top consciously are aware of the karma that they are creating by manipulation and doing these anti-life infringements and and and, and doing and, and engaging the way they're doing. They're aware and they and they want to escape the karma of what they're they're facing. The people who they're controlling are not aware of the karma they're creating by participating, but when it shows up, they want someone to take it away. So that being said, what path are you choosing? What is your choice? And choose wisely. And whatever you choose, Choose with a full, open heart. If you're choosing truth, no, it's not going to be an easy path. But if you're on that path, I'm on that path with you. And I wish you well, and I will see you on the other side.